Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a uh, quick video to uh, talk about today's update. Uh, today, October 27th, we had a cumulative update for Windows 10 and uh, this was, uh, I, I knew it was pretty close to happen because I had seen it uh, being dropped in the release preview ring. Usually when it's there, it's not there for very long if everything's all right. So what do we have? Okay, we've had three, I, I had three separate updates. Uh, so you have at least two, maybe three, depending on uh, where you are and the computer you have. So the first one, again, an out of cycle Adobe Flash Player update for security. Now this means it's exploited already because uh, security updates, they never happen out of cycle which is the second Tuesday of each month, and we're clearly not the second Tuesday of each month. We're the last Tuesday, in fact, of the month. So that means this Adobe Flash Player is a zero-day flaw. It's already been exploited in the wild, so it's very important to um, actually make this uh, update uh, so that everything's secure. Then there's something called an update for Windows 10 version 1607, which is KB3199986. And finally, a cumulative update was pushed today, which is KB319794. This fixes a certain number of issues. So, um, for example, it, it improves reliability of Internet Explorer, of the Start menu, of the File Explorer, of Action Center, Graphics, and the Windows Kernel. So, fixes a lot of things. Addressed issues causing System Center Operations Manager, SCOM uh, Management Console to crash. It addressed connectivity issues from a 32-bit application to a remote desktop gateway. Addressed issue of updates not being restored when doing a system reset. Um, addressed an issue that was causing domain logon attempts to fail on Windows 10 Pro. And um, uh, devices after they were upgraded from Windows 10 Home. They addressed an issue that caused failing logon counts of non-admin users without network logon, per, logon permission. Um, improve support for websites by updating the HTTP Strict Transport Security, HSTS. They improve support for IT administrator using group policy to block users updating the operating system from Windows Update. Improve reliability and stability of the notification framework, enabling contextual notifications in File Explorer. Uh, address an issue that prevented System Center Configuration Manager from performing inventory uploads via background uh, services. And they addressed additional issues with USB, Wi-Fi, clustering, setup, Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer 11, licensing, PowerShell, component object model, Windows kernel, graphics, and Bluetooth. So. This fixes a ton of little bugs here and there. And if you want to know, by the way, if you have this latest update, if you're not sure, you can actually check out with the Winver uh, version. If you type Winver, you will see that you should be at version 14393.351 now. This is the latest version for anybody that's running the anniversary update. So uh, this update, of course, downloaded and installed without a flaw. It installed quite rapidly on my machine. I haven't seen any problems yet of anybody having issues with this update. So check it out. Update your system now. It fixes a number of bugs. Once again, if you're one of those that had issues with the anniversary update and that they weren't fixed yet, check it out because this fixes a lot of issues. Uh, and of course, uh, make sure that you update also for this Adobe Flash Player update. So, uh, cumulative update, Adobe Flash Player update, and for some, a update to Windows 10 uh, 16.07 version x64. So make sure that you update your computers uh, today. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know, and hopefully the update went well. Um, if you updated your machine, uh, what is fixed, what's not, I'll be, of course, testing Edge because Edge is one of the little things that was fixed in this version. And I'll be, of course, commenting on this probably tomorrow, Friday. So thank you for watching.